You love me. If you only knew the real me. Just close your eyes, baby, and pretend that you're all the way back home. It's your body. She could live out in the shed with the kids and never even think twice about it. And if she doesn't want you, something to make her live in the shed. <laughs> well, girls, <laughs> girls that go out with me, they get enough, they get that, they get that, like my motherly instincts, you know? They know exactly when their man is lying to them, you know what I mean? <laughs> So, chances are, this guy is out here, right? He has to buy himself a ticket. Well, now that means he's got to buy his girlfriend a ticket. He wants to go out and get some, like, some of those there cheese steaks down on South Street. He's got to get her something to eat, you know what I mean? This is going to be an expensive evening. Now, girls, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't be cheering, girls, because you right now, all the girls in this place, they're going to have to earn some respect around here, you see? <laughs> this is... This is man's night in the spectrum. <laughs> now, I'll tell you why. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, girls. I got 18,000 girls out there going, Jesus Christ, I paid all this money. Come see this boy, ain't gonna give shit. <laughs> what the hell? I'm in a great mood. And then, <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'll leave it at that. But, girls. Be kind to your boyfriends. Don't put them through all the shit that this poor lad has to suffer through every day of his life. And gentlemen, if that doesn't get you lucky tonight, my mother's here. This is something about a dirty four-letter word, that little be evil. This is not love that'll break your heart or take your heart and dance it all over your face. This kind of inexcusable stuff that no language barrier can hold back. Sometimes your heart can be broken, and it don't matter what language, what time zone you're in. So for any girl who ever wants to break a man's heart, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a good spanking once in a while. Who's spanking whom, John? <laughs> it's uh, that's <laughs> another one of those secrets you'll never find. <laughs> Me, she could care less. You know, <laughs> she has to wake up with me in the morning. No, uh, honestly, I think it's the best deal I ever made. It's yeah. uh, somebody who's been with me, but since before I was me. Yeah. Uh, you know, the mother of my kids you? who grew, grew with, with me through the ups and the downs and the ups again, and believed more than anybody ever. And uh, you know, I mean, she truly is my best friend because she just gives me uh, all the support. And common sense. And common sense. Yeah, she's the one that wakes up and goes, here you go, rock star, take a look in the mirror this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... And you, I've heard, uh, John, when you're away from your wife for a while, to, you know, other guys might, like, send flowers to make it up to her. If you're away or, you, you know, you're shooting something, or you're on the road, you write her a song. Is that true? Usually just when I get in trouble. When you get in trouble? I wouldn't trade her for four big movie stars and two, you know, it just, I, I've got the better deal. I, I'm very happy. I really get excited when she comes in the room. We share the same jokes and philosophies and, 
you know, we have four great kids, so I'm not regretting, you know. No, I'm certainly not. How much candy in the candy store can one make? You know, I mean, it's just, I, you get old, it gets old, you get tired of it. It's, it, it's great to make it. It's great to live with people. It's great to have that feeling that you're having sex with that audience. The truth is, I don't really want to wake up alone on Christmas and on my birthday. And, What's the point of the other? He tells me you would never wake up alone. That's not the well, I don't want to wake up with all the 32 flavors of Baskin Robbins either. Let's stick with the big chocolate chips, right? You know, I'm very happy with that. I've asked you this. It's got to be tough when you see Richie Sampler running around with every Hollywood chick. It's not? You know I wouldn't trade that for that, no. Yeah, you don't think it's too much? You got it. Work it, baby. Yeah, I figured what the hell. Oh, boy. I think I saw those little peckers really cool. <laughs> How come the women here are so goddamn beautiful? <laughs> I swear it's true. I'm gonna get in trouble here. We got all the variety of women that you had before you married Dorothy. Did you get it all out of your system, John? No. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. I'm like you, man. We're old married men. Yeah, and you miss the variety of women, don't you? Occasionally you wonder why you got married. True? No. Be honest. No. Dorothea doesn't let you date? No. No. You're not allowed you're not allowed to swing or do anything Can like you that. Believe that. You're what not I allowed to. You're not allowed to. No. And yet I think if you did cheat on her, she would forgive you because she would not want to lose you. Because how many girls can get a good looking guy like this who's wealthy? I think that this, that the, everyone knows that she's a karate champion and would kill me. She is a black your wife went to go to the bathroom and got up with her. Her provider. I've been out with a lot of guys like this. They pay me for two things, singing and shaking my rear end. <laughs> so hopefully that they're still coming and feeling good about themselves out in public and enjoying that euphoria with their friends. At some point that um, over the years, it must have posed a bit of a distraction for you, didn't it? Well, sure. I mean, how could it not? They're beautiful to look at. Um, but if the question is, you know, why not indulge? Ultimately, I got it right the first time. Yeah. And will you have children with her? Yeah. Oh, you will? Yeah. When is that going to happen? Soon. Very soon. Is she pregnant, in fact? Yes, she is pregnant. <laughs> Isn't that something? Well, there's an excuse. John broke the news on that. John, now, uh... beard and a cigar that's acting you know it wasn't a pretty girl like liz perkins i enjoyed it